You can create your own special list for unique values that you use over and over again, or for things that you want sorted in a special order. For instance, if you want to be able to sort these inventory items in size order, then a custom list is a good idea, since sorting alphabetically won't give us the right result. We can create a custom list in Excel by going to File, then clicking on Options, Advanced, and scrolling down to the General section. Then we can click Edit Custom List, and within this window, make sure that New List is highlighted, and then just start typing in the list entries in the order that you'd like to see them appear. Make sure you press the Enter key after each entry, and when you're done, click Add. Then you'll see your new list showing up on the left. Once we click OK and OK, we're back in our data set, and since we've selected one of the cells in the data set, we can go to Sort and Filter and click Custom Sort. Excel has detected our data set, so we want that sorted not by style code, but by size and the order we want to select our custom list. Here it is, click OK, and this is the list that we want the items to show up in. Once we click OK, then all the sizes are together in the order that we want, from extra small all the way to extra large. Custom lists can also save us time because we can use them with the autofill feature. For instance, if this is the order in which school assignments are graded, we may need to type these over and over fairly often to record student grades. So why not create a custom list? Again, we can go back to File, Options, Advanced, and scroll down to General. Edit Custom List. And since we already have this list typed in the order that we want, we can actually just click import and select the range where they're located import and click add as usual once we click ok and go back to our worksheet anytime we type the first item from this list we can use the fill handle to get the others in fact this list will keep repeating until we release the fill handle the custom list we created is stored on this computer, so we can use it for future workbooks. It's not readily available on other computers, but here is a little hack. If you sort a data set with a custom list, right now I'm creating one on a Mac, by the way, it's actually easier than doing it on a PC. Once you sort with a custom list and save the workbook, then you open that same file on another computer, you will see that sorting order in your sort menu. From there, you can add it to the custom list on that computer. And now this custom list is available for sorting and autofilling. Finally, you can't delete Excel's built-in lists, but you can delete the ones you created by going to the custom list dialog, selecting the list you want to delete, pressing delete, and clicking OK. Ready to learn more about Microsoft Excel? Then check out the full course on GoSkills.com. Click the link in the description.